Welcome to this ISIS Energy video. My name is Jake Horsen. I'm the TTF reporter for ISIS European Spot Gas Markets Daily Report. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about the summer winter price spread at the TTF, which has been given a small boost recently by news about the rough storage facility in Britain, but is still trading at close to a record low. The summer winter price spread is important for the storage sector as shippers buy discounted summer delivery contracts and simultaneously sell winter premium winter delivery contracts in order to hedge their storage capacity for the cycle ahead. This year, storage sites are currently much less full than they were this time last year, which has raised summer injection demand expectations and provided relative support to the summer contract versus the following winter. Last year, the summer winter price spread followed a similar trajectory early in the season, but was then given a big boost by a recovering oil price. Oil prices fell below $30 a barrel in January 2016, but then recovered through to June. This year the oil price is much higher, but it's been much more stable and has, and, and has provided less relative support to the winter contract versus the summer. Those are some of the key differences compared to last year, but this year there's also supply uncertainty relating to the Groningen gas field in the Netherlands and LNG supply to Northwest Europe. High spot LNG prices in Asia have attracted a large number of cargoes away from Europe this winter, and supply may not recover that greatly in the summer, with Middle Eastern and South American demand likely to rise. As far as Groningen is concerned, this year production is expected to come in at a 10-year low of 24 BCM. The production cap is based on what demand is expected to be in an average temperature year, and the cap can be increased if temperatures prove to be below average. So far we've had a much colder winter than last year, but it's still uncertain as to whether the full year will be below average. The Dutch government assesses temperatures via a degree days model. What this means is that average wind adjusted temperatures are taken in the town of De Bilt, and it's compared to a 14 degree household heating limit. The more degree days there are, the more the temperature deviates below this average temperature, this 14 degree temperature. So far this year we've had many more degree days, but it's still uncertain as to whether the 2300 average threshold will be breached. We've run a little bit of analysis based on the 3, 5 and 10 year um, average number of degree days for the rest of the gas year, and we found that none of these come in over the 2300 degree days threshold. This means that we need more below average temperatures for there to be um, an increased likelihood in, in, in raising the production cap this year. So those are some of the reasons why the TTF summer winter price spread is currently trading at a record low, with the winter contract holding less than a euro premium to the, to the summer contract. But on the 16th of February, we also had news about the rough storage facility in Britain, which gave a small boost to the spread. Centrica Storage, the operator of the, of the rough facility, said that injections into the facility are unlikely to be available before the end of June. This means that injection demand in the, th in the second quarter of the year is likely to be very low in Britain and there will be a surplus of gas as a result. We saw a similar situation in Q3 last year, and what happened is Norwegian supply that would normally be bound for Britain was rerouted to, to mainland European markets, and Britain itself used its interconnector to deliver gas via Belgium to European markets. The market seems to think something similar could happen in Q2 this year, and so we've seen the summer extend its discount to the winter premium, and we've seen the summer winter spread increase to above one euro. With rough likely to be out of action through the second quarter of the year, and with Groningen and LNG supply confidence likely to improve as we reach delivery, the summer winter price spread may continue to recover throughout the rest of the winter period. So those are some of the factors driving the current TTF summer winter price spread. For more information, please visit isis.com and look out for more videos in the future. Thank you.